doorway, a portal, uh, a toolbox, a link between here, there, and everywhere else, possibly, or to another dimension. I don't have those answers, possibly. I don't have that information either. We'll talk about that in just a moment. <laughs> get we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. When I was in the woods, I found a few feet away from his body this thing that looked at first to be like a metal can through the brush. Well, it wasn't a metal can. Something that I've taken to call the link artifact. <clears throat> And I believe that that is a link between the wearer and possibly the obelisk or the people that control the obelisk. And when I say people, I do not mean humans. I believe it is a multifaceted tool. I brought it home. I had it stored. I had it analyzed in Japan. And I had a photograph, and we have that videotape, and I can show you that now. I'll do my best to explain this. Uh, unfortunately, my glasses are not available, so I'll do my best. This is the Link artifact. It measures approximately three and a half inches by four and a half inches. It is made of a radical mixture of substances, including beryllium, aluminum, magnesium, um, let, read me the one. copper. Copper. It was found to be made of a composite material, beryllium, aluminum, manganese, copper, zinc, bismuth, and gold, and also some unknown elements currently unrecognized on our periodic chart. Under extreme forensic x-ray magnification, the body of the cup displays a unique lamination made up of many separate minute layers of construction, some as thin as 3 microns. Human hair is about 12 microns. In count, there are at least 18 layers in all. Between each layer is found a microscopic fibrous material similar, similar in construction to that of plant-type fiber. It's thought to be a living tissue type of circuit or matrix running in and over most of the inner layers, somehow connecting them together in a matrix or in a, a web type thing. The stringy tissue is suspended within, or, within an organic liquid that keeps all the layers isolated and keeping them from coming into contact with each other. So actually what you see there is a multi is a multi-layered composite of organic material and metal inside a shell. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what we think. It's it's a it's a a bioelectric receiver or transmitter. And what you'll see on the underside when we get to that part portion of the video is that there are three probes. Okay. On the on the outer side, there are four unusual symbols now thought to be control function keys. These symbols are unlike any others that have been cataloged, but one of them, the small one set off by itself on the other side, is somewhat similar to the Egyptian symbol for the letter R, which also means an opening or a door, or can be interp interpreted as communication from one point to another. This symbol has also been seen in China, Mexico, South America, Egypt, Russia. Um, it has the appearance of hieroglyphics. Uh, I think that some of you are, are familiar with the Kecksburg case, you'll find that some of those similars are awfully familiar 
some of those uh, symbols are awfully familiar to what was reported by the witnesses in Kecksburg that surrounded the acorn-shaped craft that the military found in Kecksburg, Pennsylvania in 1965. When this was placed on Freddie's arm, as I did in the garage, I pushed it on his wrist, on his left wrist. It immediately turned black and closed around his wrist. On the other, other surface of this, there are three pins or needles that penetrate the wearer's arm that create some type of connection, a link, a biological link. It is thought that each end of this thing, this, this dimension and the opposite end, is possibly set up as a receiver and transmitter. This unit pulses a pulse every 15 to 18 seconds of radiation. Constant. So it is still alive. It is still active. Good <laughs> stone about the nanotechnology earlier. It's interesting because uh, it's believed that uh, the suit Fred was wearing was also bio nanotechnology. He was able to learn not to allow it to cut. I pushed the button that looked like the link artifact, or right, yeah. right on the outside that looks like the obelisk, and it opened and released. It pulses a beat every 15 to 18 seconds. Like a heartbeat, yes. I don't have that information. Possibly. I do not have it in my personal possession, but I believe with the right circumstances I can get it. Back. It's held in security by the Alliance, people that I trust, that have helped me from day one. People who have secured artifacts for years and years. I have seen artifacts that are the size of a Safeway truck. I've seen some things that are as small as an orange, that when I held in my hand and I twisted, it had a hole in the middle of it. Almost pure oxygen came out the other end, but yet it had no source of power, no batteries, no cores, and no moving parts. The larger item that I saw, the size of a Safeway truck, looked like a beautiful piece of glass structure, except it had two little seats inside. This is the underside of the length. You can see the pins. Each one penetrated a small sphere of almost pure emerald. The undersurface was a lattice or matrix type array similar to the suit, fibrous and looking, almost almost wet or, or oily in touch, but yet no residue would come off when you touch it. No, more like more like plant tissue. Sam. Pardon me. The question was asked to John to put it on. I'll relate to you a story that uh, Nobody's ever heard this before, so here it goes. <laughs> 